Hey, hi there. So I'm back now and uh, just starting to get everything set up. I um, uh, got a Rock Crusher Supreme. Rock Chucker, not Rock Crusher. <laughs> anyway, we're just, uh, what I am here is in uh, our old house. Um, it's the kitchen area. We had to keep it as a... Uh, storage area for where we live we can't have two houses on the property so this had to be turned into a storage area um, so this is the old kitchen it's uh, been nothing but had storage and crap in it for probably about the last 14 15 years and so right now I'm just going to Turn this into my whole remodeling room. I mean, reloading room, um, gun room, um, you name it. Uh, it's just going to kind of be my playroom. I'm actually going to put a TV on the wall there so uh, I can watch sports while I'm doing this crap. Um, yeah, so it needs some work and stuff, but... Uh, I'm just kind of slowly getting getting to it. Um, anyway, so uh, yeah, there's some of my reloading equipment um, uh, that I just kind of bought. There's a, a Weaver uh, scope mounting kit, um, a hand primer, a powder charge, trickler. Um, I've got a bore cider there. Um, I've just kind of got uh, there's uh, lemons case prep. Um, I put on some, put up some kind of cheap little, uh, LED lights. Um, it's amazing how much light they throw out. But, so anyway, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be, and I'm sorry, I gotta, I gotta get a camcorder if I'm going to keep doing this. This, uh, phone is so hard to, uh, keep here or there or anywhere. Um, what I'm going to be doing is, I think I told you guys mostly that uh, I've bought in Thompson and Centerfield compass rifles. Um, I kind of started out buying a 6.5 Creemor. I was overly impressed with how accurate it is. Um, I've done a trigger job on it just with the uh, Beaver trigger kit, which is one spring. Um, it... Uh, made it go down to about a 2.75 uh, pull on my trigger. Um, there, it was about five, right around five, I would say. Um, and, you know, I just kind of, since I'm getting back into it, I just didn't want to spend a whole lot. Uh, and I wanted to play with uh, each kind of different caliber and rifles. So I thought, well, you know, this 6.5 Premore came out great. Um, I'll just start kind of getting other calibers. Right now, Sportsman Guides uh, got them on sale for $249. Uh, it's hard to beat. Um, so I've uh, gotten a 7mm Magnum, a 243. I've got a 204 Ruger. Um, I have a 7mm 08. I have a uh, 30-06 that I will be showing you guys unboxing in the next video because I have the 30-06 sent in uh, to um, Jess's reboring. Uh, had him rebore it out to a 35 Whalen. I've always been a Whalen fan. Um, I had a Whalen years ago when I used to hunt and stuff, and I loved it. Uh, Kind of one of those things you get kids and you get family and you're tight on money so you have to sell something and uh, that was one thing I ended up selling um, and raising my kids so I just went ahead and sent it off and uh, should have it back here anytime um, to take a look at it and, and show you guys and then I'll get some shooting done with it and see how it turned out. Um, Oh, I've also, let's see, in the Thompson, I also um, have a uh, 270. 
Um, I have a, actually I got a, another rifle that I used to have that I loved to death and I, and it was another one I sold was a two, 257 Weatherby Magnum. I got a Vanguard 257 Weatherby Magnum that it hasn't even been unboxed yet. I got it. Um, there are some things that, um, that just went on beyond my control. I haven't got to it. I've been trying to get this stuff ready here. You can see it's a mess still. Um, and But I'll have it to, to bring out and do some shooting with it and, and have a load it set up and stuff like that. Um, right now, there's my dies. Got to keep all the dies. Powders. Um, anytime you guys uh, have something to say about powders for one of the calibers I'm loading, I'd really appreciate it. Um, always sharing load information is great. Um, I have, um, so anyway, that's what I'll be doing. Uh, I'll be kind of just trying to do some things. Like I said, I haven't been in the game for 20 to 25 years um, while I was raising the kids and stuff. and. Uh, I'm going to get back into it pretty strong. Um, uh, so, you know, I've actually been out walking to get back in shape again. I've got hills all over my place here where I live. Uh, that's uh, kind of been an interesting thing again, too. Um, I have uh, will uh, be going out um, on a couple field expeditions, I guess, with... Uh, a group here that goes up the Pacific Northwest and uh, just looks for different animal species and stuff like that. And I thought, well, God, that'd be great for me to go on just to, uh, you know, the, these people aren't aren't into hunting or anything like that. It'd just be getting me up there and and uh, looking for wildlife again, getting my uh, wits about me again. Um, I have in the past, I raised German short hair pointers. I ran them. In competitions all over, I was a Navda judge. I got out of that, um, and I don't think that's something I'll be getting back into. Um, it uh, just uh, the last time, and I don't know if you guys ever get to the point, but man, when you lose one of your dogs that was your dog, even though I had, you know, like six dogs that I was running in competitions and stuff, I had the dog the it dog um and i lost him and boy did i lose my i don't know you just say my desire to go hunt i mean you know through the years it gets to the be where you know getting birds are great but you go just to watch a dog work you know it's amazing how they work uh it's amazing how the creatures are the smells they have and everything and when you lose a good dog it's and I, I know some of you have been through it. It, it just, it just, God, it just kills you. <laughs> um, those damn dogs you can get so close to that uh, you just, you just uh, lose all your desire to uh, be out in the field. And you know, I, I've had a lot of great dogs, um, but that was the it dog, um, and the it dogs don't come along very often. So, you know, that's one of the things I might be getting back into, too. I, I sure I won't. I, I just, I, I'm not, you know, this is going to be a big enough uh, challenge and expense for me. Um, but like people say, how can you spend money on this? Or how can you spend so much money on that? Or how can you do this? Well, you know, it's your hobby. I, you know, I didn't go out and spend $2,000 on a set of golf clubs and then, you know, join a golf uh, club and, you know, pay them $100 a month to go golfing on the course or, you know, every time I go out golfing, I have to pay, you know, a $50 green fee with a cart. And um, so it's just, it's just some of those things that you, you do that uh, whatever your hobby is, and I'm, I'm really bad about this. I usually put both feet in and then put my head under the water with it. But, uh, you know, whatever your hobby is and that you enjoy, you shouldn't feel bad about uh, 
spending what you can on it, and enjoying life. We only go around once. So, um, but anyway, I feel like I'm rambling on a little bit. Um, I, you know, I, I was really interested in you guys' maybe comments too. I'm going to load up a bunch of 7mm uh, with these ELDX bullets. I've heard good things about them. Um, I've heard one guy that, uh, I think it was Hunt Simple, so I shout out Hunt Simple. I think he took an elk. And he recovered the bullet, and it, it did perform really well um, for him. I've heard a lot of people else say they, they're junk, but uh, uh, the accuracy with them has been uh, outstanding what, from what I've heard also. Um, I know I have shot some target rounds just with the Thompson Center Compass 7mm. You know, it's amazing accuracy for for the the price you pay for these rifles i can't believe it i mean years ago you'd have to pay and i mean this was years ago you'd have to pay a thousand dollars to get some of the the accuracy you're getting now um it's it's it amazes me so um and i and i've heard things with the people that have the thompson centers too they, they say that some people get good ones and some people get bad ones um i've shot three of them now i've shot i also have one in 243 too I shot the 243, the 7mm, and the uh, 6.5, and I've all had outstanding uh, accuracy with them. Um, like I say, their triggers are not outstanding, I can tell you that. I mean, when you when you get the trigger kits, they're great, but uh, uh, they are just not, not an outstanding unless you like an extremely hard pull. That's I guess that'd be great, but... Uh, uh, you know, the stocks, I'm, I've got, uh, a couple Boyd stocks coming, um, and I'll be doing things with them. Anyway, like I said, I'm rambling on. This has gone on probably too long. You guys are probably bored to death by now. So, uh, any comments? I'd love to hear comments and sections, see what, you know, what you guys are doing and stuff out there. It's getting into that winter time here. And, uh, I imagine I'll spend a lot more time down here. Um, and it'll be just nice to I'll nice to hear back and forth from you guys. I I mean I'll uh, um, start maybe a you know a, a blog post or um, something like that to where I can be down here just reloading and talk to people at the same time. I'd love to do that. So anyway, hey thanks guys. Um, you can just call me Booker Dog. Uh, so um, have a good day. Thanks.